Leave him be. Come here. Fire. Come on. Come on. Maya, come here. Come on in. I want you to clean up the apples. I'm going to treat your feet too. There's loads of apples. Eat the apples. Oh no, don't go out. Come on, babies. I jump up. No. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. Hup, hup. Come on. I jump up. No. 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 There we go. Now they can clean up the windfall apples. This is a particularly, I don't make apple pie or tarts, but this is a particularly good cooker apple for apple tarts, a very sweet one. And they can all eat it now, the windfalls. And then after a little while, Brindle, come on. I'm going to separate the ram lambs from the yo lambs. So there's a number of ram lambs in here that are going to come out that are full ram and they are going to go into a separate field so they don't breed with their sisters or brothers. Well, they wouldn't breed with their brothers, but you know what I mean. Look, these ones, soon they're all going to be in there eating those apples. Yum, 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 yum. Look. Oh, I left the gate slightly open. My fault. And they're eating the fig tree. Go on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Inca, Maya, Java, Java, Java. Come here. Come on. Leave it. Java. Leave it. Ha. Leave it. Good boy. They're gonna go and eat apples. Come on, let's go, let them eat apples. Come on, Java. Come on, Java. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Now, for those of you asking, yes, this fig tree produces ripe figs. You see right there, there's a ripe one. And there might be some more up there. I'll hunt out some ripe figs. So I should really, ideally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to strip the leaves off in the vicinity of the fruit so that they ripen faster. I did it on another fig tree we have. These fig trees, I'll go show you the other fig tree and then I'll talk more about fig trees. So this is the other fig tree and you can see from the litter of the leaves, I took the leaves off to expose the fruit. So you can see this fig is ripening. Nice ripening fig. Anyway, these figs were brought here by my, I think it's my great, great grandmother. Not quite ripe. But basically what you're meant to do is take the leaves off to expose the fruit to the sun. And there's lots of fruit on this fig tree. You can see loads of fruit and it ripens. You can see it's a large fig tree. You restrict their roots so they think they're going to die. And then they fruit. That's not quite ripe. But it's... I should have a pair of uh, gloves on because the sap that uh, comes up, you can see that sap can be, can be a skin irritant. So I should really have gloves on and uh, when I'm trimming leaves so to expose fruit to the sun. We've had so little sun and so little heat in the sun. So checking, oh, look, there's one, very ripe one, right up there. You have to beat the birds to the figs. There's the ripe one right there. Now I'm gonna have to stop filming to catch that fig. Oh, there's another one over there too. Okay, I'm gonna catch those two very ripe figs. I've done a lot of uh, 
taking the leaves off of this fig so that the figs ripen with the sun. We've had such little heat this year, but I've discovered loads of ripe figs and I've had to bring a colander out to pick them all up. Look at that, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 figs. And there'll be more ripening tomorrow because I've take, shredded a lot of leaves off of it. So, and luckily we've got um, family coming for lunch. So dessert is gonna be yogurt and figs or figs and cheese. So this will be delicious. And my, hey, what are you doing, bear? What you doing? Dogs, 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 dogs. Okay, I've gotta go and make roast potatoes now. And then I will sort the lambs. So back into the lambs and the hoggets. And I've gotta hunt out the ram lambs that are still whole ram lambs. Nope, nope, I'm coming in here. You're not going out. Okay. There's a whole series of them. So I'll just have to keep an eye out and find them. Those with dock tails have been castrated. Anyway, this is gonna take two hands, so I've gotta do it without the video camera on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, you, move forward. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hopefully these are two non-rams. So if I squeeze them in tight, there's less movement, less panic. Okay. And they're all along here as well. Okay. And I've got to pick this up. I got left behind. Okay. So those are two weathers, meaning they're castrated males. Because I dock their tails when they're castrated. Okay. Now this is when I have to turn off the video because I have to get in there with two hands and sort them out. We're all separated now. The yos, this is all yos and weathers. And then here are the ram lambs. And they vary in size because the, some of the ram lambs who were tiny were not very healthy lambs and had a hard time, so I didn't castrate them. Okay. Then there's the other big ones I kept because I thought they might make good breeding stock. Uh, and um, yeah, so those are the ram lambs. Yeah. Not very many. I try and have as few ram lambs as possible. Mm. But uh, sadly, none of them reach my breed standard or what I like yeah, to improve the breed. You always want to keep yeah. rams that are going to keep improving the breed. And as far as I'm concerned, none of those do. So in here are hoggets and yo lambs and weathers. Weathers are the castrated males. 
that didn't meet the breed criteria at birth. They're the castrated males. So because they're castrated, they can stay within the yoe flock. And I've got a very patient dog on the outside. You good girl. What are you two doing in here? Hmm? Okay. Those two yo's, I want to go in there because now they're sorted. These two ladies can go in here and get treated. Go on, go in there. And I'm gonna treat them for the being lame. So there, I'll go get the treatment stuff. A busy day in the yard. I'm gonna put this back. And hope none of the ram lambs jump the pens yet. See, this is why I have the flip on the top. And then they go down and get bolted in the ground. I'm going to open this up. I think there's a lame lamb in here that I want to catch and do the treatment to as well. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That one right there. You, you're the lame one. I'm gonna put you in the treatment pen if I can catch you. Perfect. There we go. Nope. I'm gonna catch you and put you in the treatment pen. Got to do two hands. I've got to stop videoing. Go on. Out of boys. Go on. Two hands. So I've got some nibbly bits for the boys. Okay, boys. I'll feed them here and open the orchard gate and they can go in there until I move the yo's on. There you go. Two, four, six, seven, seven boys and four big boys out in the field. Java, leave them be. This one really got fly struck, but recovering well. Okay, <laughs> ladies and weathers. You guys can go now, come on. They can't get to near where the ram lambs are. Nah. Now these guys have to open this up. With sheep management, it's all about gates. It seems you never have too many gates for managing sheep. Come on, ladies. Come on, out you go. Come on. 
There were only three that needed treating. Two hoggets and one lamp. They've all been treated. Two lamb ladies are feeling tender. Okay. Come on. Come on, ladies. Out you go. Come on, ladies. There we go. Okay. So, hopefully nothing's pregnant in there. Java, leave it. Hopefully I got the rams out in time. Those two ladies are very sore, but they're hopefully will be better soon. So this morning, uh, around 6.30, I put the lamb in the oven, slow roasting. I then did sheep stuff. I'm now gonna have some coffee. Some coffee and I've already prepped there's carrots and then the roasty potatoes and then we're gonna have a salad so guests don't arrive until around what time do they arrive I know yeah around one so they're cousins so it'll be a family affair a family meal Oh, I can put more water in there. Me coffee. So there you go. That's what the life of a woman farmer. Do sheep's feet in the morning and prepare Sunday lunch in the morning. And then in the afternoon, you have a social life. Isn't that right? You are such a funny... She's so funny if she turns this way. She makes music. Musical chair, pup. Musical chair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think my coffee is nearly ready. Morning yeah. coffee. And then I put the roast potatoes in. Get them lovely crispy on the outside. Golden and crispy on the outside. And soft on the inside. Yeah, and the cousins who are coming are huge fans of yours, I'll admit. So you're not to go astray somewhere. You're to stick around. So there we go. Life in the farmer's kitchen. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, now I'm sitting to have a coffee. We're not going outside. We've been outside. We've been working outside. Doing sheep's feet. And sorting the ram lambs. You jealous? You jealous? Are you such a jealous? You're just jealous. You're just jealous. So jealous. You're just so jealous. <laughs> okay, I give up. I give up. You're so jealous. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to come up to 
do? Potatoes are getting their scalding before roasting. Carrots have their butter in them. And we might be eating outside. The figs are all ready. And this is the other part of the dessert that's all ready. So nearly there, ready for the visitors. <laughs> 